So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at IDs and classes and uh, for example in the previous tutorial if we had like five divs they would all have the same styling because they all have that div tag we were just styling that tag so every single tag that's called div is going to style it so what we're doing is like this like that and then we'll do like div you know we put all of our like width and everything in there but if we had like 400 of these it would style all of those to be exactly the same now what if you want them all to be different so for example in your site if you have like a header then a sidebar then a main content area then a footer you don't want them all to be exactly the same size shape color everything like that you want them to all be different so what we can do is we can create an id for this so we just add the id attribute like that and set it equal to whatever you want now a few things to note it cannot have spaces and it's case sensitive now when i do casing and things in all kinds of languages what i like to do is let's say this is called container one i like to name it like this now you could name it however you want you could name it with capital c at the beginning so every word starts with a capital letter but this is called camel case so the first word is oh, first word is in lowercase then on the second word the first letter is uppercase then if there were a third word you do uh, like that you do a like fourth they'd all continue with starting with a capital letter so this is really important uh, try and get into one way of doing it don't like have some of them that are all in capitals some of them that are lowercase some that are half and half just make sure you keep one style of casing so I put a container one now you need to make sure your casing is perfect here now since this isn't a tag that we're styling right now HTML thinks we're doing a tag we need to put a hash in front of it now I don't know where that is on American keyboard uh, but it's next to the enter key on a British keyboard I don't know if it's different on an American one but I think you call it like a number sign or something it looks like that um, so that's how you style an ID we can add our width set this to like 100 pixels a height set this to 100 pixels and a background color and set this to green so now if we run this in Chrome you see we've got this box so that's all working now what about if we wanted another box we just got to copy and paste this and we'll call this container 2 and to save a bit of time I'm just going to copy all of this and paste it down here and change that to 2 and let's just change the background color to red and also give it a margin dash top of 50 pixels save it run chrome you see we've got these two but these are both divs although they've got separate styling so that's pretty useful um this is probably like a really useful thing that you're going to use the next kind of thing is class now let's say I'll get rid of all of these and I'll delete that one as well so let's say you've got a div for um, let's say you've got like these boxes on your site which have like um, comments in them so when someone writes a comment it goes up in one of these boxes so we could give this a class because we're gonna have like 10 of these on the page so we can give it a class of let's say comment box and then close off, close off. And then for this, instead of doing a hash, we're going to do a dot. And we're going to do dot comment box. And that is saying that we're going to be styling a class here. And by the way, the difference between a class and an ID. An ID can be used one. It's used to represent this one uh, item. And you can have an ID and a class if you want. But for this case, we're just using one. But a class can be used as many times as you want, so that's why it's quite useful in this situation. So we're going to give it a width of uh, 500 pixels. We're going to give it a height. Oops, spell it right. A height of 200 pixels. Uh, background color. Set this to silver. And don't forget, you'll remember your semicolons. Going to give it a border. These just to make it look nice, really. One pixel solid and grey. 
and I'm also going to give it a margin dash bottom 20 pixels so just like that um, this is just for uh, making it look nice so first we're going to try it with one launching Chrome and you see we've got our comment box thing there obviously it's got nothing in it but that doesn't matter now if I were to make like a load of these like 10 or so uh, if we run this and Chrome you see we've got all these boxes and they're all running the same thing uh, one more thing I want to say is let's say we made this into an ID and we created a div ID equals comment box and then select div and then we did this like a ton of times let's see what happens now so you'll notice this still works but this isn't w3c valid and what that means is basically it's incorrect code this code is broken now although it might work um, in order to make it compatible with every single browser your code has to be w3c valid and there's a site you can go on to I'll leave the link in the description um, your page has to be on the internet but that will tell you what areas you've got in your site and things like that that's only really useful if you're making big projects and things and having your code valid is really necessary um, if you want to get good SEO and that's search engine optimization so if you want to rank higher in like Google and stuff you need to have valid code so that's about it for this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial